What's up there, YouTube friends? It's Crumpy Gamer Dad here, and I have resurrected with my necromancy a uh, little segment I used to do last year when I was just starting out Funko Fridays. It's Funko Friday. Now, there's Pin Mail Friday, there's Funko Friday. Uh, I can't say that either one is actually going to be a permanent fixture. Uh, Pin Mail kind of replaced Funko's. Funko just released some new pops from the Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary, and we are going to check those out. So these pops just landed last week. Um, I've unearthed a few of them. They are from Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary. Uh, there's a mixture of some exclusives and some non-exclusives. The Target exclusives, um, those were gone in minutes, I've heard. People were lined up, and they just devoured those. So we'll start it off with this guy here. This is number 577. This is the mummy spirit from the Haunted Mansion. Um, if you see it, he's towards the end of the ride in the graveyard scene. You'll see him there, and he's having a spot of tea. There's only a handful of pops in this series. So, you know, to find one, you're, you're like 25% done, I guess. If you look at the back, only four technically in the set. You're going to get the opera singer, the mummy spirit, Constance Hatchaway, and Madame Leota. Now, this is the common Ma Madame Leota here, not the one from Disneyland released in August. It took almost a month to get the rest of the pops out. And in fact, the Hot Topic exclusive pop still isn't available yet. Uh, September 19th is what I'm hearing. The next one here is the opera singer. And uh, she's also from the graveyard scene in the end of the ride. If you've ever been to Disneyland, I've never seen the Disney World one, so if you've ever been to the Disneyland one, the OG Haunted Mansion, she's at the end on the right-hand side before you make that final curve to see the hitchhiking ghosts. The opera singer. She's number 576. And the prices on these, I'm sorry, I do this with pins. The prices on these are $10.90 for these so far. So this one is number 578. This is Constance Hatchaway. Now she is the bride from the Haunted Mansion ride. If you go up into the attic portion of the ride, um, you'll see a bunch of portraits and they're a wife and a husband and they're all happy until you look and his head disappears. And then at the end of that, attic area you see her standing there with a an axe and she kind of gets this look like i do all innocent and then she goes i did it's been a while since i've been to haunted mansion at least like two months okay so let's move on to an exclusive um i have two exclusives one is on its way from amazon still sorry this one is the box lunch exclusive for the haunted mansion 50th this is uh, number 619. He was $12.90, so $2 more than the others. And this is the uh, the mansion groundskeeper. You see him and his dog at the entrance of the cemetery in the Disneyland version. Um, I mean, there's a lot. They went and threw everything at the wall on this Haunted Mansion. There's Funko Haunted Mansion shirts. There's a cereal bowl, purses. It was crazy. Uh, I got these little guys one day these are pocket pop keychains and so these there's three of them these are the hitchhiking ghosts they're the little dudes at the uh almost the end of the ride when the the ghost host tells you beware of hitchhiking ghosts and they're sitting there with their thumbs up anyway there's three of them and they do have names by the way so the first one is ezra he's the skeleton and he wears a, a top hat uh he's tall and gaunt phineas uh, he's actually, I believe, Dr. Phineas. He is the uh, chubbier one, and he carries a carpet bag. And the last one is Ezra. Gus. You see him with his little thumb out there. Gus. Ezra is what they also call the prisoner, and he was wrong, wrongfully accused of a crime, is what the story goes. So these little guys, Haunted Mansion Funko Pocket Pop keychains, these were $5 each. Uh, I've seen them at box lunch and i've seen them at target i did not see those at hot topic 
unfortunately, they don't have the uh, a Funko, or a new Funko anyway, of this guy over here. I don't know if you can tell, but that's the Hatbox Ghost statue. He made his reappearance in 2015 for the 60th anniversary, and basically he... Uh, his head come, is on his shoulders and then disappears and reappears in his hat box as a really cool illusion. Um, and I guess it took him like, you know, 40 years, 45 years to perfect. Uh, so, yeah, he came back 2015. He's actually my favorite character in the Haunted Mansion ride. I call him Hattie because we're like that. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this Funko Friday. Like I said, it will not be a permanent edition. Um, Funkos take up a lot of space. They're inexpensive, they're fun to collect, but they take up a ton of space. And um, I just got rid of about 80 of them, which is the only reason why I have room for these guys. Like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at GrumpyGamerDad. Until next time, this is Grumpy Gamer Dad saying, keep popping. And, oh, I'm going to do bad dad jokes after this end credit scene here. Okay, bad dad jokes. So I've been doing this. My wife got me a bad dad joke calendar for Christmas. And at the end of a pin video, I will read off a couple bad dad jokes. This is the first pop video I've done. And so I will uh, read off bad dad jokes because why not? Uh, today, by the way, is Friday the 13th. And it's a, a full harvest moon here in California. So bad dad jokes also tells me if you enjoyed this calendar order next year so i have to put that aside because i would like to have more bad dad jokes wouldn't you don't we all we can all use good jokes uh so i made these haunted mansion ish themed um when you're in the stretching room you'll see the uh the portraits and the tight rope walk tight rope walker with the umbrella is one of them so this is themed to her why did the lion eat the tightrope walker? He wanted a well-balanced meal. I believe they're crocodiles uh, that are below her in the portrait room. This one's kind of a science-y joke. Uh, what do you do with a dead chemist? You bury him! Aww. Periodical table of elements there. Bury him. Get it. Science-y joke. Make you think. When do you know the moon has had enough to eat? When it's full. <laughs> there you go. Have a good one.